So. All right, guys, I'm here. No. Jared Stott in the house here at Street League 2, man. How we doing? We're doing good, man. It's a bummer we didn't get to see you out there wrestling, man. I was stoked. I, I was stoked. I he, wanted to come see you wrestling. He tore his ACL. <laughs> we got, we got, we got to get you someone for the next, the next one, man. You got to come back for the next one. I'll, I'll be ready. I'll be ready. Either way, even if I'm not here, we'll get you a match, man. Yeah, we get yeah. you. So, uh, what's it like coming from, you know, a city like, you know, Iowa, being a farm town, you know, and then living yeah. in Los Angeles? What's that like? Uh, the move was actually crazy because, like, I'm just used to it. So the town I grew up in, I only have 500 people in my town, actually, and I jumped from that to like 13 million in LA, which is crazy, but like, I live in a very small community, everyone there is nice, so I like it a lot, but it's a, definitely a huge change, but you can't take the Iowa out of me, I feel like, like, like this is always home. It's always I get home. it, I get it, man, I'm so. Cleveland at heart, man, I love yeah. Cleveland. I, this is my first time to Iowa to stay to cover a wrestling event. Yeah. Um, you know, being out in Los Angeles, you've got quite a following, man. You've got a following. I don't know if you guys notice or not, but he's he's missing an eyeball like me. Got that Rena got it. Let's go. He's got his. I'm, match, I'm matching it with my outfit today. Oh damn, that's <laughs> sick. Let's go, man. But you know, it is. It's super rare meeting someone yep. else that has you know had the same I'm, cancer. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're the first person I've met with one eye besides myself, like in person. I swear to God. That's crazy, it's very, man. It's very cool feeling. Yeah, yeah it's very cool. I think we can, you know, someone like me, I overcompensate like with my personality and things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's taught me a lot, like yep. having the cancer and stuff. How and old were you when you lost your eye? Uh, when I lost my eye, I think I was like a year and a half, two years old. A year and a half, two years so old. I don't remember any of it, but yeah, it's very cool to like see you not even wear an eyeball, you know? It's just like we're standing out, we're making a difference. You, know? you just gotta be who you are, there's, man. Just that's who you are. Yeah, there's so many like people that have one eye that are like they tell me like, oh like I'm getting bullied or I'm embarrassed and this and that. I'm like, just take it out, be yourself, and like once you're comfortable and confident in yourself, there's not there's literally not a better feeling in the world, and I'm sure you can attest to that as well. Like there's yeah. nothing that can tear you down, you know what I mean? And, and and for anybody who may have a disability or anybody with you know that has one eye, yeah, is wrestling not the best sport you can get yourself involved in? Yeah, no, I totally agree. Yeah, it, it builds so much self-discipline and just like it, it helps you mentally as well, like confidence. It helps you later in life too, man. Exactly, and, yeah. You know, hey man, we gotta get you out to Ohio sometime I or did, something, let's go. man. Let's I do did. it. Heck well, yeah. hey man, it was a pleasure meeting you. Heck yeah, let's you uh, let's link up in the future, man. Absolutely. Thank nice you.